case in which businessman Abdul Karim Batatawala and three others are answering charges bordering on procurement contracts at the Immigration Department has been adjourned to Wednesday morning after the state paraded the third witness in the case. When senior resident magistrate Martin Chipofia reconvened the court on Tuesday, it was the witness, a procurement officer with PPDA, facing off Abdul Karim Batatawala's lawyer, Alexius Nampota, in a cross-examination. He explained how he thinks some procurement procedures were flouted in the process. Nampota will continue cross-examining PPDA officer when court reconvenes on Thursday. Abdul Karim Batatawala is accused of defrauding government 1.5 billion kwacha and money laundering of 2.5 billion kwacha. He is answering the charges together with three other former top immigration department officials. The state has 16 witnesses to parade in the case. Now, church leaders in the country have been urged to always help needy people. This has been said in Mwanza when Serving World Steward Ministry donated various assorted items. Bernard Kankono has come up with this report, which is read by MacDonald Chiwayula. Reports on the most vulnerable groups show that women and young people are the most disadvantaged groups as mostly they are economically left behind. The conditions are even worse when these groups live in rural areas. As one way of alleviating some of the challenges faced by the elderly and young people, Saving World Stewards donated assorted items to people in Epes village in Mwanza district. The donation is part of the culture of our ministry. Since we started the ministry in 2013, we've been having this sort of um, event once a year. So uh, we've had it in um, uh, in Ngulude, we've had it in Zomba, and this year we thought we should have it in, in Mwanza. So that's why we do it. It's part of the culture of our ministry. Speaking after receiving the donation, one of the beneficiaries, Sigeni Azakaza, said the donation will go a long way to ease some of the challenges she has been facing. The over 1.5 million kwacha donation was spiced by music performances by King James Perry and Black Frame. <laughs> Well, on that note, we conclude this edition of 